So hey everyone, once again, massive updates. Be sure to drop a like. We have a few more details on Hazard Zone and we will also have a few more details on Redacted. And there's a good reason why you can't find anything on the internet about Hazard Zone or the Redacted game mode. Well, simply put, they haven't been putting anything out there that they didn't want us to see. So they've been covering all the leaks and everything pretty well, which is really exciting to see because we are about to see new news in just about five days or so if I'm out mistaken but squall up and drop down into the new hazard zone an all new high stakes multiplayer experience stay tuned for more information coming later this year and this is a mode i was really excited about then we have also a new mode coming on july 22nd as well as we can see here this one is one of my favorite from what i can see so far this is what he actually says about the fully destructible things or buildings and Let's just take a look at this. Because it has some really, really cool, distinct locations within it. Down to the south of the map, you'll have a uh, fully destructible uh, village. And this is a great space for infantry and vehicles alike, because you know, as a battlefield player, that infantry is skulking around inside the buildings, but you know, when you're in your tank or your attack helicopter, you can just you know, can destroy those buildings and get access to the infantry, and you can go. So this is one of the first mentions on the destruction actually and probably the new mode will have some sort of destruction as well. But in my honest opinion, the emphasis will be like escape from Tarkov. So we have multiple theories on this. We can get back to this video later. But uh, this has been on Escape from Tarkov subreddit from eight days ago. This mode is called Hazard Zone. And according to rumors, it's inspired by EFT. A dev said in an interview, someone said it's a very fresh and I don't know source. And it's it might be an EFT mode. So Escape from Tarkov. If you don't know what Escape from Tarkov is, it's basically you go into the zone, you die once, you die forever. It's not like Barrial, you can't be respawned. And it's not like you pick random gear, you get the gear at the start. And I'll, I have multiple theories on this, but DICE has confirmed they won't do a battle royale while it's saying it's a high stake game mode. They haven't been looking into a battle royale just yet. Maybe there will be a battle royale in the future, but not right now. The premise has similarities to EFT and the player play characters called Notepad, which sound like PMC. And basically, you know, everyone discussing about this, but uh, I think here's the answer. So the first thing here being this huge explosion, I think this is some sort of debris. We can see a lot of soldiers, you know, preparing here for the helicopters. But if you check far away over here, you can see, I think you can see another ship and then you can see some sort of light. So it's very likely possible that they are have to scour for this specific communications array. So if you don't know the lore, they're basically searching for such communications array for either US or Russia. And that's what's really exciting to see. You know, a lot of these soldiers are actually squads of four. So you can see one, two, three, four, and these two are actually prepping. And then there's, you know, someone watching the debris and I'm guessing he's calling someone. So it's very likely possible that you actually have to gear up and prepare and to get an, a specific objective where where maybe five and maybe 10 teams are fighting for one single thing. And that will cause, you know, massive types of destruction, massive types of explosion, everything you want, basically. And, and I think it could be possible that this could be the free to play mode. So let's say, let's see what the developers have to say about this one. Ours, but it is really built on those mechanics, those high stakes mechanics that really builds tension as you play. And gets you like you know those sweaty palms moments when you're just like but it's also then you know combined with squad play i mean we are a squad based team play shooter and i'd say there's no so this further confirms it that it might just be escape from tarkov escape from tarkov is actually either a solo play or a squad play high stake doesn't tell us that much other than it's going to be really exciting which i'm sure of other space um within 2042 where the choices you make in terms of what I choose to bring and what my friends choose to bring. What specialist is my friend playing? What weapon is my friend playing? What gadgetry is my friend playing? That has such an incredibly high importance in Hazard Song when you're playing this game. So really, really tight squad play. Um, really, really... Um, uh... So it is in fact confirmed you can get your own gadgets. You, it's not like Battle Royale where you jump in and you start with zero and then you know it's based on luck. You can have your own abilities, you can play with friends, and I am highly suspecting it's going to be free to play. Tight communication is important, um, and then built around those uh, that tension builder, high stakes type of gameplay. 
So uh, super excited to talk about this yeah. as we uh, when we're allowed to talk about it in a bit. Yes, in a bit. In a bit. Soon. Um, uh, Soon, yeah. But uh, we're going to be seeing more about that. It's it's taking the superpowers of dice to a new level. So I'm guessing the destruction is going to be next level. Now we're going to be seeing early look basically pretty much in a few days. This is what I read so far. So I had to do a lot of research. Considering Escape from Tarkov's recent success, it won't be weird to see a similar type of game mode developed by EA in Battlefield 2042. Sadly, we do not know more about details about the game mode, but it's very likely possible that again the crash that happened you know none of these sources or sites know anything more but uh i think i mean hazard zone description fits the part where a giant tornado starts sucking in soldiers resembling a sh shrinking circle so it could in fact be on a new map it could be in fact on an older map all of that could work that's something they will tell us, but EA describes the Hazard Zone as a tense experience that combines edge of your seat gameplay with the best of the Battlefield sandbox. So there will definitely be some destruction involved, considering the trailer also featured soldiers in flying suits that often used to jump down from planes, Hazard Zone could be some form of a barrier for Battlefield. In fact, it's not going to be a barrier, but it will be some form of, you know, just having fun, maybe a mix of that. But during development, DICE mentioned that Battlefield wouldn't have a barrier, indicating the Hazard Zone could be a completely unique experience. Now, the next thing about Dark Zone, that's really exciting to see so far. I think it's very possible that you can choose where to get your objective so maybe you can you know take it you could take it from someone else that would be awesome to see but then again uh this further confirms my theory that you have to go into a specific city and grab that communications array or go to a specific map on a random location that will all boost it up and again what do you think about the hazard zone i think it was pretty much confirmed from what i'm seeing there's so much articles but still no info on crossplay by the way from what i'm seeing but the mode dice la is working on is quite special and for july 22nd we just have a single leak that this might be a sandbox from tom henderson he recently received an email but other than that we do not know what this game mode is it could be that you know there was a leak some time ago that was saying that we're getting some special weapons and from previous Battlefield games and previous Battlefield maps. But who knows at this point, could be just, you know, a spoof. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.